Regarding the wrong intersection, how I position myself on the wrong side of the intersection. Okay, I'm basically repeating right now the same route is basically what I'm going through. Uh, imagine that you were just told that your car is completely destroyed, that you need to pay about four times as much as money for repair as your car is worth. Okay, four times as your car is worth is damage on your transmission. I can say that I was deeply not only messed up because of MK Ultra scenario that happened, but because of the lies which I'm about to actually even play on the internet so that you're not gonna have any doubts. I'm gonna play your audio recording so you're not gonna have any doubts uh, in respect to that. So here I'm allowed to do a 180 degree turn. All right. This is basically where I did made a mistake. And rather than I would continue here, I did stop right there. And so this is, this is what is messed up about this intersection. Anything like this, anything like this never ever happened to me before in my lifetime. Not even in the dreams that I would do something like this, ever. I have a professional CDL license. Uh, I drove tractor trailers in the US and a little bit even in, across the Europe. Now I would do something like this with a, with a uh, personal vehicle, uh, this is just uh, it's something that it's impossible that would actually happen. All right, So that's why I said that now I also can understand that other stuff that is happening when we read on the news that people eventually drive on the opposite uh, side of the road and so on. This is not that dramatic. But I believe that if you are exposed to the degree of the pressure like this, that, that they keep coming at you with the stuff like this, I am from the, from the woods where I came, and that was about, probably I estimate about maybe 25 kilometers something from here, eventually you had to drive through the lights without a first and second gear. So I had cars constantly in my ass at night like this, as I was going back to Sgirsch. And so I was under so much pressure thinking about these scenarios which they have orchestrated and how the car is going to stop and this and that at any time and you're not going to make it and tra la 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 la. Uh, you know, repair is going to be transmission four times cost of the car. Uh, catalytic converter is going to be twice the cost of the car. You know, stuff like this, how they're going to destroy you financially and so on. This actually popped up to the point that. I did stop right there, which is, well, especially in the evening time, you have a lights on, uh, but something like this is just totally unheard of, that, that, you, that somebody would do something like this. No? So for me, this was really shocking, and I'm just trying to demonstrate just how far this whole thing has gone. This is not okay, stuff like this. So somebody's got to be held responsible for the stuff like this. Donald Trump has created in Poland his own wonderland. And crimes like this cannot go punished. You cannot do unpunished. Uh, crimes like this cannot go unpunished. You cannot go and do because of the money you have to, to somebody, uh, stuff like this, orchestrate a person like this, ruin 25 years of life to person. Uh, and when the person is trying to get away, uh, you actually organize crime against him to this degree like this this is not okay stuff like this so this must not go unpunished when it comes to work um, situation circumstances at work it was i came truly uh close to the centimeters of what could end up as a real tragedy for me um i could really because the situation I was in got myself handicapped uh, when operating a forklifter because of what went on in Luchka, uh, because of what went on basically in previous location, and also because of what went on at this location. 
that you would have at let's say 1:30 in the morning, you would have an individual actually smashing through the canal that not even supposed to be inside of the building structure. But here were two canals in diameter, centimeter, 10 centimeters, uh, so the air basically can blow through them, according to landlord, so uh, this little home can air itself, I never heard for anything like that, but okay. Uh, at 1.30 in the morning that he would go and smash through this channel, uh, air filter and everything out, literally on you. I was sleeping inside in there, and the whole thing was thrown right on top of me at 1.30 in the morning. It was a Friday 13. This kind of stuff, that you would not get sleep, that you would be like this, that you would be basically persecuted, it would be like you were to release a bunch of wild, crazy, mad dogs on an individual and it would have him run with all kinds of issues like this. This crime must not go unpunished. And for this crime, the person responsible is Donald Trump as well as his partner over there in Warsaw, Kaczynski. And the whole thing went through right through Polish president, Andrzej Duda. These things cannot go unpunished. These people must be held responsible for their criminal deeds. Uh, created in me, really, it was something I associated with a job because it was so disturbing that I did stop the, yeah, if you would be watching me what I was doing, it would be like a person completely so confused that he would not know what the hell he's doing. I did few very bad mistakes because of the bullying, stuff like this. Going back to the issue of my position of myself in the wrong side of the intersection, I'm just going to say that now I know why some people drive in the opposite side of the traffic. I could never ever understood any of that stuff, but I can guarantee you with 100% certainty that kind of stuff is related to MK Ultra. There's a lot, a lot of people that are subjected to what is known as an underground war, which neither side, nor the left, not the right, if the left exists at all. It's usually the case of the controlled opposition. Would want to admit, basically we want to agree to. This is how also driving in the opposite side directions of the road, which ends with a terrible fatalities happens. Not all of the cases are like this. It's also mistakes that happen. But I think that most of the cases that happen when people drive in the opposite side of the direction are in fact related to this type of issue. The stuff that went on under MK Ultra, um, uh, this individual, this American criminal, he would go, and especially reminds me of the place where I'm going, he would create totally crazy impressions. Like with the landlords, what he would do is he would make them feel how they should feel even that realistically to expect from the person, from the tenant, that should never be the case. You just, as a landlord, you have to think rationally. But the idea, his job was to develop in landlords the view, the vision that is completely unrealistic, but it seems logical according to what they have seen in him, the way he advised them to see it. Of course, this landlord's corrupt, people that do this kind of stuff for their own interests and at the same time in me at the same time gesturing me basically the stuff that he had done to accommodate them that would be completely irrational while gesturing me just how evil basically the landlords are uh, the stuff they're gonna do to me and the stuff that I should just basically accept as a normal. So basically, a normal stuff is to do bad stuff that is something completely acceptable that I should just accept. And from the other side, I should express my concern, my uh, understanding uh, for their concerns. You respect, you give the respect, in return, the only thing that happens, you get slapped, you get bitched out, you get 
white, you get abused, you get this, this is the kind of school this American criminal did. Now, I was told that American staff members rejected him. Uh, they really did. There was arguments. Uh, I think that people that rejected him, they were removed from the picture, substituted with completely different people. And the situation became so tempting, so difficult to resist a criminal, uh, even for people that felt are most closely related to me, like Chris, let's say. So, yes, not everybody was bad, about probably, I would say, 90% of the people, Americans, young, uh, also British people, especially, they were concerned about me. But still, the one who had a complete control over this, and I understand that Americans are really concerned about when I say every time when I say American. However, the one who had a complete control over this situation in Grotniki, they were Russians. It was Russians, but Grotniki was a blend of Russian and American interests. It really were Americans. Americans had the money. Americans were the one that bought people, that purchased people and you know, offered them goodies, offered them jobs abroad, offered them stuff. Uh, so, as they gestured me, they could help me out. But it's exactly as well explained in this video, the beginning stages of what was demonstrated, taught to the people in this community here as a help, turned into a total abuse, into total abuse of uh, the stuff that was at first suggested. It was turned into a neo-Nazism against locals here too in Lohachin's Girsh. They also became under the radar. It was also a different agenda. It was also a different view on them. It all no longer was what, uh, you know, at first it was everything so nice like this and that and then it all started to change into some completely different totally different type of setting you know all that stuff that was it all disappeared and it was only time basically to destroy me and the best thing basically would be to get rid of uh the Russian spy for me to get, if I wanted to stay here, would be to get rid of the Russian spy and it would be the best thing for me to just get, uh, you know, see myself basically like a neo-Nazi. Now, we go more and more to that game, Russian spy, German spy, Russian spy, German spy, and that goes to Warsaw. And there is a there is a spy, there is an agent over there working for both sides against the Polish people. That's why you see so many Polish People with empty pockets on the street of London, homeless, and you see Polish society disintegrating across the U.S. Well, go a little bit to Chicago, go a little bit, see those neighborhoods where the Polish were, whatever is left from them. And along with it, it's also Russian and, and, and Slovenian, especially, which was huge and Croatian and all other communities across the US and Canada that are disappearing from the map. Uh, that's basically is what's all about in this video. So um, I don't even know how I would summon this complaint. I don't even know how to see myself. Uh, it's a trouble. The, it, the whole thing was orchestrated, timing, everything was done in a such a way that left me with car purchase was done on a, on a 23rd. Uh, the registration supposedly should be completed on the, on the 30. But what happens was when I did one, try to pass the technical examination, you could not pass one because the catalytic converter was stolen. Catalytic converter brought me to the certain part of the town for which I was promised if I will come, make no mistake also to the store, right? Because when you're so far away, when you're on foot, when you have nothing and you see the store like Leclerc, something like this, you're going to stop by in order to buy yourself a goodies and so on. And that's basically where your liquid, your, your fluid, transmission fluid gets almost drained to the point that you cannot 
stick the gear to the first or second shift. This is how I came yesterday. I drove back not knowing where the car is going to stop, where I'm going to be able to, to shift and so on. I did not know whether I'm going to even make it here or what is going to happen. All in all, I'm not happy. Uh, today, I felt like I don't even want to get up anymore from the bed. I was sleeping in these sleeping bags and I, I, I no longer knew already last night uh, today I, I no longer know anymore what 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 is it I should I should see the situation as or what's it gonna be next time I mean and the only thing left is gonna be what to go to the new site basically I don't have I don't actually have as much as the vagabond who asked me yesterday before I left if I'm going at work he asked me a vagabond that doesn't even shave himself I don't know if he ever worked whatever he was doing, I have a bunch of people like this that are concerned about my work related issues and believe me I'm not here to steal the penny from this state here I don't want a dime from this Zeus here that they have because it's a ripoff because I'm not gonna go and accept a buggery over there for something like this they have done I'm, I don't want I don't want the help like this from a country like this I don't want anything like I feel rejected, I feel humiliated, I'm not going to say even underappreciated, underappreciated, I feel like I'm not a human being. The vagabonds have established yourself a decent life, a dignity here in this country, not even elsewhere, but in this country. And I did not accomplish anything other than ruining myself at 25 years of my life. Rather than looking for the job now, I am looking to file the claim against uh, on the court. Uh, I repaired the vehicle that is not even mine. Uh, it was done like seven, seven days. Sale was done. No, actually, what is it? Uh, was it six days, seven days before the technical examination? And I'm going to stay here until the fourth for watch the... Uh, owner of this property told me that if the if transfer of the title would not be done by the 30 something by the 31st I'm not going to even be able to complete one and it's the lady yesterday when I was at the office when I was trying to transfer the title confirmed me that for the transfer of the title you have to have a residence reported your place of stay it's got to be reported uh, you have to register your, your place of stay, for which you already know what they have done to me. You, you might want to call this like a st stress traumatic disorder or something like this. But you go through the shit like I have, that you cannot register yourself, which the law, the Polish law alone dictates that you have to register yourself. At three locations, I was not allowed to register myself. This was finally one, two, three, fourth location when the landlord actually did register me. Uh, now I'm going to the fifth location within like a year and four months uh, of stay in Poland. And it's where I will not be able to register myself and so on due to the length of the stay. When you go like this, when you do the stuff like this, um, I don't know how you want to call this, it's bizarre, it's insane, it's fucked up, it's nowhere in the world, it's, 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 it's a Fukulandia, it's what Donald Trump designed in his head, it's going to look like, like I said, uh, a rope around your neck would fit probably a better expectation than what this country have to offer, uh, based on what I have seen so far. Um, directed energy, energy weapons, crippling, all kinds of creepy crap like this. Uh, it looks like a mental asylum on open. It looks like a prison where you are complete, compelled to go from one dot to another, like move like this. Uh, I'm extremely positive person. No, I have never thought about committing a suicide or anything like this, but staying in this country uh, dealing basically with the issues like this, as I really do not know, 
uh, if I can say, oh, this would not happen in the future. Now, this stay here is like inside of the asylum. It's like it's worse than inside of the mental asylum. It's like in a prison and it's something I was told by psychiatrists. Whenever you're not going to be inside of the mental asylum, you will leave outside of the mental asylum that will fit exact description of the mental asylum. This is what I was told by Slovenian authorities and the Poland during a, a last interview I had in the Warsaw uh, confirmed that uh, they would never ever take any kind of step against the Slovenia. This was the Slovenia that accommodated them in crime and so on. So this is pretty much the best description of my situation. Ah, you see, it's wonderful. Really, it's a wonderful thing. Uh, rather than have this completed, this kind of bestial procedure completed in Russia, uh, it was more convenient. It is more convenient for Americans and for the Russians to have one done, basically for the Germans to have one done right here in Poland. Because the one that pledges a loyalty to this country is, after all, like bananas on the market. He is sold and his owners, basically owners of his allegiance to this country, uh, the only thing they do is they collect, they cash the money, they pocket the money. And the rest, it is basically you are left out on a wet, on a rain, like Americans told me, betrayed, uh, worth nothing. Jesus is for sale in Poland. You can find Jesus for sale on all AX, you can find him on a gum tree, you can find him anywhere. You are nothing and nobody when you pledge devotion when you patch patriotism to this country you are a zero point nothing and it's something i was well warned about by americans that if you will do this today will come eventually it will come because no matter what you're gonna do uh, it's the interests of bigger countries that prevail over this one here even by the people that run this country you will be sold you will be nobody uh, and it's really more convenient for the russia to demonstrate uh, basically in order to whack you in order to ruin you in order to take you from international stage because you participate in this kind of situation it is much better for the russia to use poland russia cannot afford to be seen in the same light like a little worthless Poland, basically, is how the Russians and the people that run the show here in Poland see this as. Oh, this is basically what this is. This is how you end, basically. You get in a conflict with the whole world, and in the end you are spit like this out of the country that uh, you paid allegiance to. But what I would say to you, wherever you are, whoever you are, wherever you are, if you're going to come to this country, you're going to be less than a Russian. You're going to be less than a German. You're going to be less than a Czech. You're going to be less than a Slovak. You're going to be less than a Latvian. You're going to be less than whoever you are from wherever you are. And you're going to be, you're going to end up less than a human being. If you're going to pledge a patriotism to one. Well, just enough with this anger. Um, today is November the 7th, 2019. What Duda, Moraviecki, Kaczynski have done basically in this case was basically take an advocate of Polish Ukrainian community. This is basically myself and you can look my record. It was one time throughout since I'm dealing with this stuff and that's already since 2006 publicly. So that's 13 years. I have a really well established record. Not one time have I broken the law, whatever the hell I was doing, and I was doing not a good stuff, but still. Never ever did I afford myself that I would go, they would say a sorry word against the Polish or Ukrainian community whom I have publicly 
defended, always stood for. You understand that? So what Morawiecki Duda Kaczynski did, he basically offered the enemies of the Poland, that's basically the neo-Nazis from the West. And I'm not gonna say Russians because I cannot say Russians. I actually love Russia. I embrace Russian people. I love Russia. I was in Belarus in 2017 and Belarus is my heart. Uh, people accepted me very well and so that I would say something like this, the only thing I want to do with this would basically normalize relations that would be to the point that we would cooperate with one another at least as much as let's say Germans cooperate with the US uh, and others and so on. Uh, we are more connected with one another than what they are. So this is, this is the least of the interests that I would have against the Russians. But I'd rather say Putin, but I have to say Russians until the Russia cleans this spot from her record. Because it's not supposed to allow stuff like this to go on. The only thing basically they did for every score I have scored for the Polish nation, for the Ukrainian nation throughout the 13 years of battle of mine, and I was subjected to psychiatric torture, to unemployment, to the forms of degradation, humiliation you can possibly not believe. Believe me, I did. The only thing these people did, and I continue to do so, even through the struggle in Grotniki when they had this KGB running this center, in their face, literally, the only thing he did is for everything I have scored for these two countries, for the Poland and Ukraine, the only thing what these three traitors did, they have given the reason, basically, they have cashed on everything I have done for these two countries, little from the enemies, for their own pockets. That's basically all there is. Um, the only thing they did is they cashed during MK Ultra procedure and in post period of MK Ultra procedure. And basically what they attempted to do with all this stuff, they have attempted to go as far as there was no trace anywhere in my real life that I would have anything against Polish or Ukrainian people and exactly the opposite as I'm saying. The only thing they did is with the lies, with the brainwash, and to the violence in real life when I was subjected to MK Ultra and they had uh, certain people involved in this MK Ultra procedure whom supposedly I had insulted and I was really a nasty piece of work at times especially when they needed me to be because they knew what what strings to pull in me to get desired results basically the only thing through incitements in this type of degradation so on, they have used this basically as an excuse to repeat the scenario from MKUltra to me. And it was the second time basically they have cashed at expense of me foremost, and even at expense of the Polish people, especially those that were, whom they have basically brainwashed that I'm evil, that I'm the one who did this, that they suffer because of me, that I'm a necessary evil that needs to be destroyed and punished and I don't know what. That's about the best definition when it comes to this anger, really, when I look at one from the real angle, especially because even the Agatha Kornhauser, that is the spouse, the wife of Andrzej Duda was involved in this and have degraded me, humiliated me right in front of other people when I was brought from Slovenia, also from US, to the point that I have also insulted her. Uh, you cannot, how, how the hell can you insult somebody when you are in a position, in, in such an inferior position, when you're subject to the torture? How can you do this in the first place? But she went as far as suggesting that they actually video recorded me, that they actually video recorded me how I have insulted her and she, along other victims whom I have created here in Poland, demand 
from me to go through this and basically pay the compensation based on the suffering pain that I have caused them and she just happened to be also one of them. Duda personally asked for the money for the corruption. So when I think about all this stuff, when you stuff that you have heard about what exactly took place, how it happened in the place, and I have already explained that the longer the torture would go on, the more people would be hurt, the more people would be damaged, the more lives of the people would be ruined. I was not the one who was ruining them. The one that was ruining them was peace, a law and justice party from the Varshav. These are the people that you watch today as a leading party, people that have substituted the judges. They have modified press for them to do exactly as I have explained. German agent, Russian agent, German agent, Russian agent. And you don't think that's happening. You have a cleansing of the people that basically is taking place. So I just wanted to clarify this kind of stuff, exactly how this stuff was done and how this stuff, how far this whole thing have gone. Folks, it's time to make Poland great again. This is a beautiful country uh, I deeply believe in. And it's why I call Polish people all over the world to uh, stand as one and defend this country from not only from the outside, uh, from the enemy from the outside, but also the one that is taking country apart from the inside. In this case, for everything that I have done for these people, for these two countries, the mentioned people here have cash, collected the money, bribes. Uh, Kaczynski now become multi-millionaire, Morawiecki neither, and others overnight for, for the air, for the plain air. It, was, it just did not happen like this. This is the only thing that I am guilty of in this case. And also, whatever good was brought to the Poland that Polish people benefited from, and I do not regret any of it. Uh, I would have done it all over again, just as I have done it. This job was a very important job for me, because I did this to prove to the people of Poland that, and Ukraine that they, in fact, are worth it in this world, whatever it takes. They are worth it. Everything this world has to offer, they have more than enough. So that's pretty much exactly as much as I'm guilty of in this whole thing. They cashed, they collected well at my expense, at expense of the Polish people, at expense of the Ukrainian people. And the last time they wanted to collect the cash was to collect through the vehicle, which I have purchased. Thanks to, I'm not going to even say savings, but just as I have explained, I spend about 15-20 zloty per month here for the electricity because I shower in the ice water. This is how far I have gone to save every dime, literally, just so I can get to my family, you understand? So I can get to my child, so I can get basically to my wife, child, and so on. Through destruction of the vehicle, through creation of this kind of hoaxes, taking away from me basically even the money for crippling because this is what the job was the idea was to destroy me to the point that i would i don't know curse the people curse the nation live in a hatred for the rest of my life against the people against the nation this was i think the ultimate goal of this uh out of the deal and i don't give a shit was it donald trump was it duda was it kaczynski which whichever one of these geniuses was this sounds like american completely and again, I explain in continuation, I don't have actually nothing against these Americans. Not even against this oldest man uh, who did everything, almost everything Donald Trump wanted him to do. So this is pretty bad stuff, and this is pretty much what I charge Varsha with. My job is not to ensure that people affected by the Varsha, people that Varsha gestured, I heard, would get whatever Varsha gestured them from one side and was doing something completely different on the other side to actually destroy me. Completely. 
this is not my job. My job is to, on a contrary, return trust to mentioned people, which they have lost because of the bar show. This is my main, this is my number one priority. Uh, and for that matter, not only to them, but to the Brogan Zierge, Lodge community, in fact, when I consider this to entire Poland. This is what I understand that is a main task here, uh, as far as the political agenda goes. Something that when I came here that I was not even aware and I started to go through and they reminded me of, have affected me deeply. My trust in this country uh, was affected in, I'm going to say, a million in one way. However, I prevailed in this. People, I should say, of Poland prevailed. They are worth it. It's a beautiful country. Ukraine, Poland, it's a beautiful part of the world. And through this struggle that I have gone through, it's probably what I have understood as what my priority in this whole thing is where my place in this world is basically this place accepted me exceptionally well people embraced me here uh, and so for that matter going through the stuff like this i kind of found myself rather than what some people have anticipated i would be lost destroyed and i don't know uh you know trump is out of the deal whatever i don't see myself in any of that stuff during the car purchase, and it was at early stages of the car purchase procedure, this is when I was still lured by the police all the way to Lovitz from Zgirsch. I also came across a very sophisticated brainwash, which was actually done, I believe, for my sake, by the people who believed in me or just wanted to make me feel better about myself but did not know if you remember the fiat palio if you remember all those issues that i have explained before did not see myself they did not see themselves and myself on a larger and a broader scale where this whole case had it to this was the art of the deal the best explained the repeated betrayal of the patriotism was actually supported by the human right issues such as the longer the torture would go on, you know, the torture would go on. The longer the torture would go on, the more people would be affected. Kind of a rejection of... It happened exactly at the same point in time when they would involve in this last stage. All pertaining to the car vehicle. And remember, the car vehicle was used to destroy me, ruin me financially. Turn me completely upside down with crazy insane issues that you have seen. They would use as well several people whose lives were affected supposedly by me again uh, through the bar show again. I'm not going to say anything that these people are not legitimate or anything like this. I'm not saying any of that. I'm not suggesting all kinds of stuff. However, I know that some lives of the people were truly destroyed, ruined. Some people faked. Other lives however, were truly, truly, truly destroyed. For this last few people here, the only thing I can say is I was not nice, not nice at all. I take it upon myself for these few last people. However, they played this few last people literally in a situation through which they were actually portrayed. For instance, Sergei, they listed his address. It's where his the seller listed the car under his address, literally. The couple that I have recognized, that I really was bad with the lady, uh, the people that I have recognized on the train uh, to um, Strykov, which then continued to Lovitz, for you guys would know about my case, I have very, very badly insulted that lady, and I have actually recognized one of the participants, a friend of her, uh, as I will explain continuation, even his residence in Lodz, I, I triggered from my memory. And he gave me confirmation, I know, either way I know. 
So they would, what they would do is basically they would use the situation within the situation, something that they have repeatedly in the past, like they would send these people literally to, regardless of what these people were, all of them, even those that lives were completely destroyed. And was what I, what I feel that, that the people that got affected by this case, um, they truly have embraced me. I have seen people whose lives were heavily affected and these people did not hold any kind of grunge against me. It was exactly the opposite. They understood my thing. However, the Warsaw does not give a hmm, much about, not about me, not about them, not about anyone other than themselves. They have supported the abuse, and you're talking about 25 years of life loss here in my case, 25 years of life loss on, on a torture, on MK Ultra torture, on unemployment, psychiatry and issues like this, to let it support me with, on how I should see the picture as, from my point of view, on the fact I should even reject them because of the setup, because of implanting them in the picture temporarily through the scam that follow up the, the car that was designed basically to rip me apart, basically turn me mentally against the people who were affected through me the worst, people that suffered psychologically, that they were destroyed. There were, it was few people that suffered tremendously. You know, once you turn against the people like this, then it doesn't make any sense to talk about any kind of uh, allegiance pledge to the country anymore. Because when you turn against the people like this, then it's the best thing for you to go, really. And that actually was the art of the deal of Duda, Kaczynski, Donald Trump, was to turn me literally against the people like this. If you manage to do that, psychologically looking, if you, if you manage to accomplish something like this, you're going to look at the rest of the Polish population like a total hypocrite's liar and so on. This was the biggest art of the deal in this scam. Because this is what Donald Trump is a professional con artist, a scam artist, what it is, a traitor. These people are traitors, a scam artist. Bandits is what they are. This is basically how this thing was done for me to be completely, completely correct to the, to the last millimeter how this thing was done. And it's the chances that you would avoid spending the rest of a life on the other side of the river ranging like a lunatic on people who have nothing to do with, who did really nothing else. This entire community didn't do nothing else other than assist me, including the, this police here. They did as much as they could, whatever, whatever they had to play along, they did, because they really did not have any choice. But on the side, they did still give me something that I could hold on to, to prove this thing actually was real. Not doing, not playing along, I don't know how many, what kind of, where would I be left with? So it was just better to do. And the whole thing really was dependent on me. How far do I want to go with it? And I felt that this country for these people that is really worth to go all the way, whatever it takes. So this was actually the art of the deal. This was really the art of the deal about this. The art of the deal for me is that I learned that it's almost impossible to even judge people um, according to their vision, according to what their projection is uh, on a certain scenarios from which they hold in the hands and they read them. They don't even, they did not even know with their best intentions that they had, that I have just explained, that actually involves the person that had the best of the best intentions. She did not even know that the whole thing is going to turn in a such a way that it would actually completely break my trust into exactly the most precious in this country. This is the art of the deal. I hope you have learned something from this MKUltra art of the deal. What
what you have heard me saying, I would say if I were Polish, whatever I would be, actually, it would worry me. Um, it's not a joke for the person to say stuff like this. And, you know, I say whatever is on my mind, uh, maybe even more. Uh, just to give a little extra or whatever. I am like this. The thing about it is what's happening uh, with the politicians in Barsho is completely unacceptable from either point of view. Whether you are a Pole inside of the Poland or outside of the Poland or you're, let's say, myself. And God forbid you would be myself. But let's say that you are someone who comes to Poland. This no longer should be tolerated. What we have going on in Warsaw is a mistake. It's wrong and cannot go on like that. It's worrisome. It's, it's bad. I want to remove clouds of doubt about myself immediately and tell you that I do love this country. I love Poland. And I do plan on staying here despite everything and fight for these people here in Poland. Fight for the real Poland. Fight for a political party that came to my mind would be named like United Poland that would actually unite all the Polish people uh, regardless of their backgrounds, regardless of their I don't know, beliefs, uh, religion, re regardless of their physical, what is the most important part is physical DNA features, which I think was the biggest issue of this political party from Kaczynski. This is the political party that is, was a party that was used to literally break, divide Poland, uh, pick on Polish people, and certain areas of Poland with idea to perform ethnic, ethnic cleansing on behalf of a uh, foreign entity and on behalf of the foreign country and in this case happens to be again the German neighbor and I don't think that uh, anybody in Poland uh, should be subjected to any kind of treatments like this um, Anything that would suggest any kind of degrading forms uh, of a human being should be simply uh, rejected in Poland. People of Poland have to step, if I use that, all for one, uh, you know, one for all, whatever you want to say that, but this is the way I feel that if it can be done in one part of the Poland, it, it's going to be done if it will be completed, it will be done again to in another part of the Poland, and it will go, it will go from one part of the Poland to other. We, you know, we are just people who should see themselves as perfect as they are, and not to become a subject to someone's ideals which never ever possibly could uh, satisfy concerning even own people. Uh, nothing about this neo-Nazism uh, was really good about. Uh, even the German people today, there were some Germans involved in this stuff, are concerned and were concerned about their own well-being in Germany. Germany today unfortunately is in the background of the German politics is nothing pretty that goes on and this ugliness came out appeared from the other side of the ocean and I don't have to go in details on how this and that uh, it totally reminded the whole thing on what we have seen 70 something years ago that eventually left 70 million people dead so my being angry about the stuff like this that was extremely degrading, that was extremely inhumane, that I was subjected to something, that I have eventually go at this workplace knowing that I am going to actually get crippled. This is truly knowing, my knowing what's going to happen to me. The gentleman, my co-worker that I used to work with at this company, his name Nikita. He is from other side of the Ukraine, not even anywhere close to uh, 
Kharkiv to be exact, not even anywhere close to Poland. When I saw him, uh, the whole memory played to me what's going to happen with me at this place. Yet, now we know each other with his girlfriend, I remember her for fact in 2013. But he may go as far as 2010, the whole thing, this company. I'm going to say Nikita and his girlfriend, it can go that far. Now I'm going to play you audio recordings where I will, in which I will in fact describe her home settings. This is basically the house she no longer even lives. She no longer even lives in that street. Yet I was there. I remember the house. I remember other houses next to this house. And I gave the description to Nikita. Not only about his place. But literally about her place. About the street. How the street looks like and the details like this and even about uh, what became obvious was her stepfather um, would not miss opportunity knowing what i knew is going to happen to me well nikita first time when he worked here got crippled just like i did he started to work and what happened was, uh, it was a disaster. And he was not the only one, there was also other Ukrainians, another Ukrainian that worked there, found himself in the same situation, everybody did. These Ukrainians here, they, they I'm not going to say, they, they helped build Poland, they, they kind of did build Poland, they sacrificed their lives here for this country. Knowing what kind of jobs, high-risk jobs they were taking, and probably they did so in this environment just so they can be closer to the political stream, if you want, so they could benefit their Ukraine. These are Ukrainian patriots. They sacrificed for Ukraine. Um, eventually, I ended in Kharkiv with European delegation sometimes in 2015. Um, and eventually investments were made that helped locals go on with jobs, with job market, competitive job market. For what Ukrainian people have expressed gratitude. Pretty much everybody inside of this company from Ukrainian people, I can give a background about something. At least something I can give that will confirm beside what I have stated right now. And I'm going to play these audio recordings that what I'm talking about is not some kind of imagination, paranoia, something like this. It's just that these are just the facts. For the price of what I knew is going to happen with me, I insisted in that company and I did so, so that I could demonstrate the opposite of what Varshov, of what Kaczynski, of what Morawiecki, Duda uh, anticipated eventually would happen. And knowing me, as I was. Knowing me, knowing me basically means that uh, I stick to my word, I'm gonna go out there for you and I'm gonna fight, I'm gonna try to help you out, whatever I can. They knew that once I'm gonna grab this job, I'm gonna go all the way to the end. And it, it wouldn't be because so I would want to prove uh, them something because of something like this, but they knew that I'm gonna feel that being around these people will mean to me tremendously a lot. Uh, just for them to see me with them, to share with, with them, uh, things meant for me more than anything. When I got up every day, I was happy to go to this work. I just, it, I was crippled. I, I would get up, I would get myself, the first thing I would do is I would climb to this, to this uh, oven here and um, I would prepare myself a coffee and, and then I would go and eat something to, to collect myself together from pain. Because it was, uh, I'm going to tell you, it was excruciating. Yet I was 
damn unhappy to go there. And maybe I even maybe looked strange to them in a way that, that, that I was smiling oftentimes. But I was just really, really happy to see them. It was just something that I want them to feel me, my presence over there, that, that I am not something they were brainwashed with. And they were brainwashed with the bad stuff, I tell you that. And when I consider all that stuff, and what the final plan was, and the plan was as ugly as hell through the car, what kind of play that was. And I'm going to play recordings and prove you that I was set up with the cars, uh, that they did use the setups uh, to set me up with the cars, because I've also recognized people, uh, random people, imagine you're from where I am, that you supposedly never were in this country, and you go to the train and all of a sudden you identify a person. Um, you see the person you identify, you know, actually you tell where the person lives. I did make two mistakes. I did make it by the third time when a general me reminded me of the Lodz, he said, in Lodz, because they find out about him too, and they set me up with, loca with certain location in respect to him to confuse me. Uh, but when he said Lodz, the only thing I did was, Lodz is a big city. It's a big city, Lodz. I have no idea how many people is here. Probably about 600,000 more. No, probably closer to 800,000. I have no idea how many, a lot, many. It's a big city. No, I actually went ahead and I pointed out, I told him his exact location and the type of the building that he's in. And I can go right now, I can go out there and I can, probably if I concentrate on that stuff, I, I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna point out the building, but I can go to a proximity of maybe somewhere two buildings, maybe three buildings, maybe if I go there, maybe inside of the building, maybe I can point out the floor like I did this stuff like this even. Because there's all the people that try to help me out. Not that they would try to do something bad to me, but they were just trying to help me out. Now the thing is that the political structures did use and abused whatever they possibly could. And the car feature was used to literally take away from me, literally, uh, all the savings from the company where I worked. Uh, and so being in a situation, and I still am because I can still, in the mornings, I, can, I still have a problem with the hands, it's better. But definitely it's better. Uh, the pain still go all the way to down in the leg though, so it's not that better. It's a herniated disc for sure. Thinking about that stuff, uh, you know, when you think about all this stuff, uh, on top of it, they have involved people who are supposedly have uh, um, hurt emotionally and have used them to turn the whole thing like in some kind of a retaliation against me by these people, which is not true at all. These people wanted to help. You, if you watch this program right now, you could see actually that people that wanted to help, that they tried to help, like the gentleman who helped me out with job, uh, and uh, let's say that Fiat example, that they, 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 in their head, in their interest would be one thing they, they would want to do, or it would turn out in, in, in a scenario that was played in the background, they would trigger completely, completely other issues behind it. They would make you, well, you know, if somebody's trying to modify your taste and stuff like this through the hardship and stuff like this, this is not, this is not funny stuff. You got to admit that it would anger you, the stuff like this. So they were using even the issues like this. And in a moment that I was truly, truly upset, angry about that I give that much out and then basically in return that uh, I really get just bit slapped. And this is not the case. This is not the case. That's why I said that I love this country. This country helped me out. Um, it's the country I believe, it's the country I'm going to stay in. Unless, God forbid, something, who knows what, Kaczynski can happen. 
Uh, you know, concern is that when you complain about this stuff, uh, the complaints don't really go that far. 